Alright, welcome back everyone to our fourth episode of our Pokemon Sapphire Let's Play. We just beat the gym, so now what we have to do, we have to go get uh, the Hidden Move Strength. It is in the uh, little cave up this way. Then we can finally move on to the next part of our mission. Alright, so it's all the way left. There we are, just in this cave here. And if you remember from, I think, the first live stream, there's this couple who can't talk to each other, or they can't get across because of the stupid rock. So now we have to rock smash that. There we go, and now he's going to give me the hidden move strength. And that is needed to beat the game, so it's important that you do this before you advance to the next uh, town. So these guys are all happy, and we're happy because we got that move. So now... Oh, totally forgot you could encounter Pokemon just walking around in the cave. I'm just going to run away from this. Not a big deal. Honestly, we can take it out in one move. We'll be good. There we go. Okay. So now I have to remember if I registered the bike. Oops, that's not right. There we go, okay. It's been a while, been a while. Alright, hit him with the rock smash again. Just get whatever XP we can, honestly. Perfect. And now, off to the next town. So it's going to be, if I'm not mistaken, all the way on our right. Wow, this bike is fast. You guys are probably going to see some screen tearing or something. This is very fast. All right. I believe it's up this way. Yes, it is. Wow, that was glitchy. Okay. We're just going to hop off the bike. Get rid of these boulders. And we should be good to move on. We got our first trainer here to battle. Oh, never mind. He's just talking about the Elite Four. What about these guys? It's about a tough looking trainer. Alright, looks like we might be doing a double battle. That's cool. We haven't done much of that yet in this game. Alright, let's do this. Okay, I'm going to say we'll hit Magmite with a Rock Smash, and we'll just hit Whismur with a Cut. Let's see if that can take him out. They're really low level. Oh, okay. One of our attacks missed. That one did half. Okay. We should be able to take out the Magnemite in one more hit, and then we'll see about the Whismur. My controller is very clicky, so I apologize if you're getting the little controller clicking ASMR in the mic. Um, here, let's do Rock Smash, just get that over with. And I guess we'll try out uh, Headbutt. Perfect, okay. Took it out in one hit, and this one, if I'm not mistaken, should be done right now. Yes, it is. Perfect. Nice to see. Got some XP, and we took out the trainers. And we can continue on our journey. That must be fun, they just interview a bunch of trainers. I assume there's not much, not much around here. What is this interview going to consist of? Okay, what is this? Please enter a phrase or word. What are we playing? Doki Doki again? Find words that describe your feelings right now. Enter a phrase or word. People. Adult. Okay.
Wow, that was uh, very nice. Alright, who's this person? We're gonna battle another. Sent out a shroomish. Shouldn't be too difficult. Um, let's hit it with a headbutt. Let's see what we can do. Oh, and yeah, we fell asleep. Oh, it has uh, the spores. Makes me fall asleep. Alright, um, guess we'll switch out. Give some XP to someone else. Let's see what we can do. Oh, wait. Okay, I expected it to do a lot of damage, but it must not be like primarily a water Pokemon. It must just be electric and flying because, I don't know, I'm used to seeing it as a water type, which is weird. That should do some good damage and we should be good though. Critical hit, super effective, we are good. Anything else they're gonna send out? A Marill. Uh, let's just keep going. Because... Yeah, we should be super effective. Um, do another wing attack. Yeah, that does like nothing to us. Hit it with it again, and that'll do it. Have any more Pokemon to send out? And we defeated them. Very nice. Alright, any more? Yes, there is. This might be the last one along the way. Guess we'll just have to see. It's only got one Pokemon, just a little Sand Shrew. That is a very cute sprite. Um, this is gonna be annoying. I didn't switch it around. It's still asleep. Do we have any berries? Let's check. I assume it would be there. We only have two Pokeballs, that's good to know. Alright, heals paralysis, awakens. Okay, perfect. We got four of them. Use one there. And... I guess we'll do Metal Claw. And our attack is rising. Not that we really need it for this battle. And one more time. And we got rid of that sand true. Got some XP, and we defeated the camper. Alright, now, what is up this little path here? Looks like it might be a new town or a cave. Okay, there's a route here. And what's up this way? Oh, okay. So it looks like we're going to need a move to uh, get rid of that sandstorm. So for now, we're going to have to make it through Route 112. Got some more trainers to battle. And I assume somewhere along here, we're going to get a move that clears that sandstorm. Which will be very helpful. Just got to take out some easy Pokemon here again. Only two this time. Hit it with a rock smash. Super effective. Surprising, like, we're 11 levels higher and a super effective move doesn't totally wipe one out. Kind of surprising. We should have just stuck with the rock smash. I feel like Headbutt has very poor accuracy. Oh, that missed too. Wow. I'm not hitting anything today. Can we do it now? Yes, we can. And let's see what our next Pokemon that we have to fight is. Nuzleaf. Um, let's see. We don't have any fire. I feel like Boom will take care of the job. I feel like we definitely need a fire type. Oh, it doesn't even affect it. Well, that's, uh... That's different, I didn't know that. Do we have anything else? No, we don't. Well, that wasn't very useful. 
Uh, let's try uh, Raymond, I guess, again. See what we can do. Let's hit him with a steel wing. Not bad, it's going to take three hits, but better than getting wiped out, I guess. It's funny, Steel Wing, like the animation of it is literally an air attack. It's like too many tornadoes. Doesn't really make sense. Wow, it's going to take four hits, actually. It's got a little sliver left. I believe that's it. I don't remember if this is the second or first. It is... Alright, we defeated the next camper. Just a bunch of campers here. And moving on. We got another dude right here. Ready to battle. And eventually we're going to be making our way up those stairs. I'm assuming it's to a mountain, but who knows. Could be another town. All right, two Pokemon here. Got a Tailo. Should be no problem. I know Headbutt does a uh, good job of taking out like birds, but let's see if we can actually hit it this time. We did, and it did it. All right, who's the next one? Lombre. See again, it would be very helpful if we had a Fire type. We don't have any air moves. Switch it up with Kellen, see what we can do. Yeah, we need some more variety in our uh, Pokemon that we have. See what we can do with Cut. Should do a decent amount. Yeah, it did. And we just gotta hit it one more time. And we missed. A lot of missing today. And that time we did it. Level 27. Very nice. We should have all of our Pokemon in our party up to level 30 in like no time. And one more I'm guessing. Oh, there's quite a few more. And a little cave entrance here. What is this? It's a little path. Are these supposed to be rain droplets? They look like little like clouds on the ground. Ooh, a Torkoal! Oh, I'm gonna need one of these. I think I'm- well, I'm gonna attempt to catch it, but no promises, because one, we could probably take it out in one hit. Oh, we- we didn't. That's good. But two, we have three or two Pokeballs, and uh, that might not be enough, but we can try. I say we hit it one more time and see if we can uh, catch it. So we do need a fire type. Alright, where's our Pokeballs? Okay, we got two. Two tries to do this. First try. We got it. Let's go. Now we got our first fire type Pokemon added to the team. But the question is who to switch out. And we don't know what to do with nicknames right now. It's not live, so I don't know. If we can change the nicknames later on in the game, if you guys want to drop them, I can probably uh, do that. Okay, there's an entrance there. There's also somewhere to use strength, so we gotta figure out what to do. Kinda would be helpful if we used a uh, repel, but I don't know. Let's see if we can do it without it. If we do too many encounters like that, we're probably gonna end up using a repel, but we'll see. Nice little coughing here. And these wild Pokemon are such low level. Like the trainers that we were battling were around like the 20s. And these are all like 15. 
Not very good. Okay, what is this area? Route 111. Are we here? What's down here? I think, oh, we went around the sandstorm. Okay, good to know. Good to know. So, what I'm going to do quick, we're going to use a repel. We're going to go back in, move that one boulder, and then come back up here, and then finish off the video. Alright, we use a little repel. Let's see what was in there that we missed out on. Watch it be like nothing. Wait, what? Oh, I didn't teach it to anyone yet. That is uh, very important, I'd say. Okay. Strength. Use. Let's see, who can we teach it to? I'm gonna say... Who doesn't have very good moves? It's kind of weird you can teach a fish a uh, move that you need to use above ground. Hmm, it's got me thinking. Um, let's see, can Kron use it? I'm just trying to see. Okay, we're not going to switch it for him. Okay, we gotta try it again. I just want to use it on someone who needs the extra attack that does damage. Let's see. Yeah, let's switch it with Odor Sleuth. Perfect. And we're all good to go here. And now we can move it. Let's see. Wait. Wow, okay, so... Looks like we need to beat a gym in order to actually be able to use that move. So we can't use it yet. We gotta wait. Even though we have it, which is kind of weird, but that's just how this game works. And moving on. It's probably gonna be our last battle and then I'm gonna say we're probably close to the town. We'll see, I guess. How are we gonna take this guy down? Let's try Hit it with a rock smash. Not bad. But I also, yeah, I don't think rock types are good against electric. That's not good. We're uh, paralyzed. Metal claw, can we do it? Or are we going to be paralyzed? It's going to pull it off. And we took it out. Okay, that's good. Might have to hear the... the. We might have to heal the paralysis. We'll see. Let me switch out for Whalmer. Okay, let's switch. So I believe that's going to be a water type. So let's try and go with... Hmm. Let's go with this one. See what we can do. I don't even think we know any dedicated grass type moves, but we can probably do it either way. Oh, we know Absorb. Should've, should've known that. Let's see. Not bad at all. Super effective. Just gotta hit it one more time, then we will be set. Very nice. And who's the last uh, enemy here? Got some good XP. Makuita, what the, Mac, Makuita? Why don't I know who that is? I feel like I would know that Pokemon. Am I like butchering the name really bad or what? Is it like a fighting type? Sounds familiar now that I think about it. Oh, that's why. Okay, I know like the evolution. Of this one but for some reason I didn't know this one I don't know weird and we really got to teach some water moves to uh, our Henrique over here tackle won't cut it eventually and can we hit it one more time yes we can and looks like we're moving on
Okay. Now, is it the moment of truth? What is up here? Re repel wore off. No big deal. So, there's something over here. It's the town we've been to, or... What's this? Oh, we're gonna get healed up here. That's perfect. So now we don't have to use any berries or anything on our Pokemon who uh, was paralyzed. Oh, we rested again. We're getting double rested, and this makes it the perfect time to take a break. And that's gonna be it for this stream. It was a little longer than I anticipated. A lot of battling, but honestly, not that bad. And we're gonna rest up again because I wasn't paying attention. Well, I'll see you guys in the next one.